Yo, what's good everybody? It's the boy Arcana MD back again with another video. And today we're gonna give you all a few tips and tricks on how to play Street Fighter 6 on a much higher level and how well you can do to elevate your game. So let's get right into it. First things first, since I'm here I am in the um in the actual first part of this first part when you first open the game, I want to I want you to say I want to say to like please, please do world tour mode. Doing world tour mode is a really really good boot camp mode. That you can use to um to like get your inputs and stuff under pressure how to do inputs under pressure and how to like charge how to do a bunch of other things how to do there's so much so much you can do in world tour mode just i said like please do that please do this mode i personally haven't played it much yet but you should do this mode if you're a new player getting into this game and the next thing in and this and the next, another tip is going to fighting ground going into fighting ground and going to practice mode training mode training mode is your best friend you know pick your pick your pick your, your stage or whatever and, and, and go into training mode ranger hut ranger hut is going to be a random stage i'm just going to pick luke just because and i'm just going to pick ryu and <laughs> And you have to utilize training mode too. Utilizing training mode is really, really useful. It's really useful for in-game situations. So like, first things first, I am going to go to a, always use your recording settings and your reversal settings. Your reversal settings, like a wake up reversal, like use, like go to unique attacks, no, 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 special moves, special moves. Like, we're gonna send him the wake up DP. We're gonna send him the EX wake up DP. I think that's it. Yeah, we're gonna send the EX wake up DP here. I forgot to set it on. Then we're gonna knock him down. See, I got hit there, right? But, like, we gotta set him down. We, this move, if this move gets you trouble, lab punishes, stuff like that. Lab punishes, stuff like that. That's, that's actually the. That's actually the way to go on how to like lab your own things. And next thing we're gonna go to the tutorials. We're gonna have and go always do this tutorial. You're gonna, you're gonna get this tutorial when you first start the game, which is really which is really going to be the way how you should how you should play the video game. How how the video game works. It's gonna show you how the video game works. And even advanced things like perfect parries, move recovery, situational confirms, which is going to be really useful in mid race positioning in the neutral game. It's actually going to be the main thing you're going to be focusing on on this game. Character guides, please do please do character guides for your character and the character and, and other characters as well, so you can learn their matchups and their game plans and how they play the video game more so than. The most of the just your kid. Don't just do it just for your kid. Do it for a lot. I do it for a lot of the kids. Even the cast, even the characters if you have no interest in playing, do the character guys so you can learn their game plans and how they play the game. And combo trials is very important because you get the they, they teach you more than just combos. They teach you more than just combos. For instance, I'm gonna cami for a little bit because I play a little bit of cami, not too much of cami, but. I play a little bit of her, so like they they gotta teach you how 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 things work. So like they teach you how a lot of your characters combos work. So like you know, yeah. Ah. Oh wait. There we go. I haven't did that combo trial in a while. So that's what I'm saying. Like you, you gotta do your combo trials. Gonna do your combo trials, you know. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you do that. But like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's just that. Yeah, yeah make sure you do combo trials. They're gonna, they're gonna be a little bit difficult at first. Yeah, they're gonna be a little bit difficult at first, but but like, yeah, you know, just like, yeah, just. Just do those, but like, even if you have trouble, like like what I was doing, even if you have trouble, you can watch the example. Ah, there we go. Watch this example. 
and then you, you didn't get any examples just like that although I, I did all of this before I just haven't I just haven't <laughs> did them in a while so yeah you know this is basic stuff basic hit confirms stuff like this you know yeah stuff like that you know ah uh, i'm normally playing hitbox so i'm gonna play hitbox but i'm playing on my pad right now so i can just show this Oh, I messed up. Yeah, you get the point. You get the point. So yeah, y'all get the uh, y'all get the point. I know we play hitbox, but I'm not playing on my hitbox right now. I'm playing on my pad right now, so I can get everything done. So uh, yeah, so that's how that's how you there's some tips and tricks on how to maximize your output in Street Fighter Six. And I, ho I hope you all if this if this helps you, please leave a like, drop a sub, ring the bell for more uploads down below. And all this other good stuff. Leave a comment. Tell me what to help you. Help you. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.